Hung, thanks for joining us on this eve of uh, your retrospective of the one-of-a-kind um, art show that will cover your whole career. So, um, uh, first of all, I'm curious about the title of the show, Summoning Ghosts. Mm -hmm. uh, where did that come from? Uh, the title is a Summoning Ghost or Summoning Spirit. A ghost is uh, maybe represent uh, uh, unrest, the spirit, and also it's, uh, it's the, the essence in most of my work. By doing art, maybe uh, I kind of make this, uh, those uh, unrest ghosts maybe a little bit. What's great about the show is it brings together a wide range of your work, even work that you did in China. For instance, um, that incredible series called My Secret Freedom. Um, and this is a body of work that you did uh, when you were a young person. Can you talk a little bit about that series? It's sacred, also freedom. Sacred because you have to do with uh, sacredly, uh, the whole culture, the whole uh, nation. The number one thing is a political agenda. Uh, I had some relationship with my subject matter. My subject was not a great leader, was not a red flag, was not a just uh, stylize the workers or peasants or soldiers, or rather just a tree in the, in the field, just a, the, the sky or a, a piece of cloud or the things like that. Your painting style, you know, I'd love to hear a little bit more about how you saw that evolving and, and the kind of influences and the kind of things you're trying to do with paint. One of the Russian uh, textbook about uh, talking about the art, especially drawing, said you should train yourself like the best camera. Like the best camera. I don't want to be camera. So I feel like a Bill Bergson, the art critic, talk about my work. He said, action painter. Action painter <clears throat> related to Jackson Pollock. But to me, being an action painter, meaning a painting itself is like a self-performers and even at your own studio you got to not just think about it uh, try to depict to copy anything realistically but also you need to have a performers your whole body your physical body uh, have to be part of this you have to be engaging both mentally and physically that's why i start to have a washes, drips, paintings running, paintings thick, and sometimes I erase the perfect part. Maybe like a philosopher said, the process is more important than the result. You've discovered these amazing photographs of Chinese prostitutes. Mm -hmm. And I think while you had you know, been interested in historical documents before that, this really got you interested. So, first time I went back to China, and I look for old photographs, whatever that means, you know, meaning black, white, one of a kind, and ask first from a family friend. Somebody said a Beijing film might have a library. So I went there and I said, I'm just looking for old photographs. I don't have a particular focus or just give me something, anything. And then somebody brought out a, a cardboard box, very bad, beaten up box. And within that box, there's a loose photograph taken by Japanese when they occupied China. Finding those photographs made me very excited, but also more curious. Those faces, they all very, a specific young woman from uh, the, from uh, over 100 years ago stare at you, looking at the camera. The background could be uh, landscape and could be both even flying airplane. In a way, they like missing pieces from history. 
doing their portrait. Maybe they would know that somebody still remember them. They not completely forgotten. Yeah, and I think that's a really great place to end. It's just the beginning of this incredible focus and this well-deserved attention to your work. And, and I look forward to a lot of people beginning to enjoy and more people to appreciate your work.